we got the bingo post to put it here in the dog room we are hoping to take all this area in here to put the doggy bed and have an area on the side for like his pee pee pad and all of his toys we ordered it in Wayfair but I believe you could get it in Amazon as well we paid $200 for the medium size one here is what is inside and the instruction let's hope it's easy to put together and not like those ikea things that have barely any instructions and they're super hard to put so let's see how long this take I said include the screwdriver but we are gonna be using our own not the one that came with the packaging just to be sure the red ones are ours the black one in the corner is the one that came with the big go pop uh, playpen the acrylic pieces they are a lot thinner than what i was expecting the metal part in the other hand they seem really well made and they have like a good feeling material but i do wish the placy glass part the acrylic part it was thicker it feels very flimsy and if your dog is anything bigger than bowser i don't know if it will last a long time and i seen these things advertised for like big size dog when they have puppies for the mama and the puppies i don't think that you could put a full grown golden retriever inside here because they feel a little flimsy. When we got Venus and Apollo, uh, the breeder, she will send me pictures and videos of them with their mama and their other puppies. And they were little savages. They will pull and they will jump. They will fight with each other. They will play fight with the mom. For sure, you cannot put a Malamute mom with the puppies in one of these because for sure it will don't last always love animals and as a kid i had guinea pigs and i had also bunnies i think this will be the perfect enclosure if you have bunnies and guinea pigs at home obviously for we had a for bowser here and i think for the most part it will work for him though i'm a little scared that he will jump out because it's a little lower than also what i thought it was gonna be and it's a lot flimsier than what i also thought so we will see if he gets out in the future. And after one hour of hard working putting it together, here is Bowser playpen. It looks super cute, though you can see him jumping and he jumps pretty high. I don't know if he will ever get out or not. I will keep you posted on that. However, it's a little smaller than what I was hoping. Uh, not only lower but also smaller in size so i want to add a few more panels you could buy extra panels on their website and i'm gonna add a few extra panels here to i want to move the pp pad farther away from the food i don't like it right there where it's at right now and i also want him to have more area when he's bigger So I put him a night light like that he will don't feel he's lonely here at night and also I could see him very well in the cameras. So here is the playpen, it's night night time. He did great on his first night on the playpen, he didn't cry at all. He slept all the way to 6 o'clock in the morning and now it's 6 o'clock I'm taking him outside to pee and to go potty give him breakfast and then i will go back to sleep because it's way too early for me and in case you're wondering why he sleep in the dog room in a playpen and not with us my bed is really tall and i'm super scared that he will fall off the bed and break a leg or worst so in the meantime while well, he's still a puppy and maybe until we get a lower bed he will sleep in the dog room during the day he's with me and he goes a lot out with me i take him out to lunch and shopping he's my shopping partner but when he's home alone he will be in the playpen and to sleep he will be in the playpen 
For the most part, he goes potty outside, but the breather had him used to, to pee on top of newspaper. So I'm trying to transition him from newspaper to the pee pee pads, to have a pee pee pad in the room for if we are out of the house for too many hours and he's home alone. Uh, but for the most part, I'm teaching him to go outside most of the times and just use the pee pee pad if I'm not home. I went today to Home Goods and got this two basket for the toys. The large one for Venus and Apollo's toys, they, they tend to have really big toys like this Christmas flamingo. And the smaller one for mainly the smaller toys, like kind of for Bowser, but Venus, she loves all kind of toys, so everything is Venus in reality. She's the queen of the house and everything is hers. Uh, where Venus is standing, I want to add on for the pee pee pad. I also got here a new water and a food bowl stand with the pad on the bottom so it doesn't move when he's jumping like a crazy nut like he's here right now. Also this make a little bit of noise because when he gets up it's a little flimsy so I want to see if I could find something for that. For now I have here the pee pee pads. I have a lot of them. I had some from when Sissy was a baby and then my mother-in-law got me some. So I'm putting it there but I want to extend the area like I so told you before to put the pee-pee pad farther away from the food and the plain area. Uh, this thing gets very dirty. We have only used it for two days and you could see all the paw prints already. So I also want to see what is the best way to clean it and keep it clean. I'm not sure about that. I'm going to be using this glass cleaner because even if there's acrylic, I don't have anything to clean acrylic, but I think glass cleaner could do the trick. So let's hope it doesn't mess it up. If you have any suggestion of a product to clean acrylic that is pet safe, please let us know in the comments, please. It's food time and I'm giving him a little bit of cooked chicken with broccoli, carrots and a little bit of his dog food. Like you can see, I move his food bowl to the other side because he jumps a lot from this side, especially when we open the door and he first sees us. He jumps there and then he put his paws inside the water. So when I extend this area here for the pee pee pad, he's gonna have a lot of more area and it's not gonna look so cramped like it look right now. They look super, super cramped. And have in mind that he's a very small dog. So if you have a big dog, for sure you should get more panels. I'm pretty sure we are gonna keep changing the setup here and there, but that was it for today's video. Thank you so for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!